What's up, everybody? It's the blind bearded chef, Zeke. That's me. Ah, that's me. Look, y'all see me make some um, pecan parlene a while ago. Now I'm about to make me some walnut parlene using a different recipe. Yeah, showing y'all two different techniques. Um, da 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 da. I want some candy. Da 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 da. With sugar and butter and cream. Da 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 da. Mix it all together. Da da. You get some praline. I want some candy. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> all right, let's get to this pot and stir this stuff together, y'all. <laughs> all right, let's get started. I got a pinch of salt already in my pot, and I'm about to put my pot on six or seven, probably a seven, medium high heat. Okay, I want to put in my um. I say this is a different recipe. So I got my pinch of salt in there. That's one cup of white sugar, and one cup of light brown sugar, and I'm about to mix in there. One cup of heavy whipping cream and a half cup of whole milk. Okay. So, let's stir all this in together. And what I'm going to do is, we're going to let this cook until it reaches a temperature of 235 degrees. And then we're going to put it on simmer. So let me stir this sugar and milk in here. And show y'all what to do next. I hope I got my camera set all right. I got my camera set over the stove today instead of I couldn't do it on the counter today. I couldn't do it over the um uh, on the little hot plate, I had to do this over the stove. I gotta be real careful with this. So we're gonna let this cook down. I can't give y'all minutes because I'm not timing this, y'all. You know, use our set of timer, but I'm gonna show y'all how the blind man just for to use his instinct. So we're about to do walnut parlene. All right. All right, y'all, been about five minutes. I'm still stirring. It ain't ready yet. And I also go by the pot. Like I say, y'all not gonna see me drop this because I'm recording it. <laughs> so if I had somebody here recording for me, y'all see me when I put my pot over there on that cooling rack and drop it. But I ain't about to take no chance and burn myself. Nah, so. When I was when I was, was recording the pecan praline, Mama had my phone recording it. So, okay. so I had to cook down a little bit more to get to two thirty five. Let's see what temperature we at. One hundred eighty five point two degrees Fahrenheit. Two hundred twenty five so we ain't ready yet. See where we at? Come on, where we at thing? Talk to me. Two hundred twenty one point nine degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see here. Two hundred thirty five point nine. Alright, we are two thirty five, y'all. So since we're at two thirty five. Y'all heard it say 235, right? So 235. Now we about to add. At 235, we want to add. Add the two teaspoons of um, vanilla extract. And add a stick and a half of your Lando Lakes butter. Let me show all that's in there. Come on, get in there. So that's a stick and a half. All right, let this melt in here. I'm gonna just show y'all. So we just added two teaspoons of vanilla extract and, and vanilla extract 
and we added a stick and a half of Lando Lakes sweet cream butter. All right. Stir that in now. Now, turn your pot on simmer, so I'm about to turn it down. I turn it down to five. Turn it down to five. And keep stirring. So you see when that thermometer reached 235, that's already like your softball stage of your candy. Pay attention, y'all. Blind man trying to teach y'all something. Trying to show y'all something. So we're going to let all this, let this simmer for a little while longer. I'd say about three minutes. That butter melted in there and everything. Then I'm going to kill this fire. I'm going to turn this fire off. I'm going to add the walnuts. I'm not putting no nut and egg in this one. I'm going to just let it be straight. Uh, straight um, parlene taste. I'm not going to put any. The vanilla extract is going to be good enough. Just a little while longer. Stir it just a little while longer. See, when I'm doing this in the house by myself, I got to be real, real careful. Because, y'all, I do not want this hot stuff. All right. These going to be real, real creamy. Very creamy. See what state I'm at. I'm going all by feel, y'all. You know, going by feel. That's why I say everybody cook. Everybody cook candy different. If I was, if this was, if this was to be candy, I would cook it longer, and it'll be, you know, a harder or firmer texture. But this is gonna be creamy and soft. All right. Oh, it's been about three to four minutes. I can go and turn the fire off. Turn the fire off. Add the walnuts. Add the walnuts in there. Now. Stir it until this get a little stiff. And you'll see the and I'll be able to take my own um, spoon and part through it. So we're gonna stir this baby. Stir it. Don't stop stirring. Stir it. Stir it like coffee. Y'all see how it's getting? Y'all see how it's setting up and getting it stiff? It's almost time to dry. I can tell by the way it feels. All right. All right, y'all. See y'all in a little while. It's time to go drop it, baby. All right, y'all see I'm setting up. Hope I got them on there. See, I put a little fan on mine. And look, they're setting up. Yeah, we set up. I think I end up getting eight. I think this made 16 because I used the ice cream scoop instead of a um instead of the the um, cookie scooper. So we're letting them set up and we're gonna try them all in 15 minutes. All right. Let me make sure y'all can see them. There we go. Creamy walnut parling. Or you can say praline, however you want to pronunciate it. All right. All right, y'all. You see, look at here. See, they're set up. They're set up. That's why it's good to put them on parchment paper. I'd rather put them on parchment paper than wax paper. For some reason, 
sometimes wax paper, you gotta spray it and stuff like that and cause the wax. So you get you another tray, put just some more parchment paper right there. And we are about to um, just peel them off of the sheet. Watch. See, they peel right off. Just peel them off and place them on your um Peel them off the paper and place them on the sheet. See, they spread like that. Um, like I said, I use the ice cream scooper because I like to have a nice piece, a nice piece of candy. See there? <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. I turned my head. I didn't sneeze on the candy, y'all. <laughs> uh. And I didn't cover my mouth because it's only me in the house. Me and the but the puppies. So there you go. You just peel them off of the peel them off of the tray and put them on the serving dish. Like that. There you go. It made 16 pieces of candy. If you was to use that candy, if you if you was to use that um that meatball scooper, you probably would have had more than that. But just place them on your sheet. It's a wide one there. All right, y'all. And let me go get the other pan. And there they go, y'all. That go to walnut. Pauline. All right. Now, let's taste it. <laughs> All right, y'all seen it was y'all seen the candy set up. Take my shades off, y'all. Take it off. Look at that. Look at my walnut. Look at my walnut, Pauline. Y'all see it? See it? Now. Mmm. Mm. Creamy. Melt in your mouth. Mmm. 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 So y'all, this is how you do creamy, creamy, parling, praline. Mm. Put whatever nuts you want in it. I wanted wild nuts because I made the pecan was earlier. Mm. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So creamy and soft. Now you know if you want it firmer. Mm. Or you want it harder, you cook it longer. But I like this, like right here. Mill in your mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Well, like I say, y'all see me make it? Gonna make you some. Be safe, be careful. Mm. God bless. Bye, y'all. <laughs>